From protecting handwriting skills to Sajid Javid's parting blast in the House of Commons, a number of topics have been covered in media columns. And the handling of the coronavirus has also been brought into question by commentators. The Scotsman. Bill Jameson observed in his column handwriting is an essential skill and must not die out. He said, handwriting is a unique personal signature guide to our very soul, individual and unique to us. Care taken on a personal handwritten letter means so much more than a little splattered text message and fatuous silly face meme. I was fortunate to be taught italic handwriting, encouraged by my parents and by a handbook of examples by the author Tom Gordy. This book has been with me for decades, with its inspiring range of italic styles. It was reinforced by a painstaking teacher who made us do upstrokes and downstrokes till we had mastered the discipline of clear and elegant writing, a habit that has lasted a lifetime. No iPhones, battery chargers, or antisocial texting with head bowed, and eye strain. Just pen and paper, far cheaper and infinitely more flexible than a phone, universally available and practical for all manner of correspondence. And a source of pride when undertaken. What is happening to us that we are dumbing down our children and stripping them of such a basic, practical and pleasure-giving life skill? The Daily Mail Henry Deeds wrote in his column that former Chancellor Sajid Javid's House of Commons speech will have rattled a few Downing Street teacups. He said, Mr. Javid admitted he had been unwilling to accept the PM's demand, supposedly at the behest of his senior aide Dominic Cummings, that he sack his team of advisers. Such a move, he said, would not have been in the national interest. Advisers advise, ministers decide, and ministers decide on their advisers, he said. Oof. He did not wish to go into the personalities, apparently. Q howls of disappointment. Boring. Though anguish quickly turned to laughter when Sarge, Mr. Javid, added, the comings and goings if you will. The Guardian. Ma Jian comments Chinese President Xi Jinping has buried the truth about coronavirus saying that the reaction to the outbreak has revealed the unreconstructed despotism of the Chinese state. He said, over the past 70 years, the Chinese Communist Party has subjected its country to a succession of man-made catastrophes, from the Great Famine, the Cultural Revolution and the Tiananmen Square Massacre, to the forceful suppression of rights in Hong Kong and Tibet, and the mass internment of Uyghurs in Xinjiang. Official cover-ups and corruption have multiplied the death toll of natural calamities, from the SARS virus to the Sichuan earthquake. Xi Jinping's mishandling of the coronavirus epidemic must now be added to the party's sham. For more on this story, visit the news article link.